So, Liz, how did you and Heather enjoy your trip to Egypt? It was great. The two of us had so much fun. I brought a couple of snapshots from the trip. You call that a couple? They have fewer photos on the internet. Garfield, did you know that in ancient Egypt, cats were worshipped like gods? Some of them were even embalmed and buried in their master's sarcophagus. Buried? You call that worship? Oh, and John, I brought you a little souvenir from Cairo. The old man who sold it to me at the market said it was an ancient artifact, but I'm sure it's just a copy. Wow. Thank you, Liz. How cool is that? The man's excited by an old mirror. Hey, put some of that gratitude in feeding us all. Me especially. Garfield's right. I'd better go get dinner on the table. OK, if I help? How about we play hide and seek? How about if you hide and we don't seek? One, two, three, four. I'll consider hiding when she hits 80 or so. As if I didn't have enough problems already. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore, Odie, or anywhere else. Hey, would you be careful with those things? I like my fur the way it is on a living body. We are your humble servants, Master. This way, Your Excellence. Ah, this is more like it. Bad jackal! I am Nether Kitty. High Priestess of the Goddess Katra. Um, whatever you say. Uh, more grapes, please. And uh, would you mind peeling them? As you wish, great leader. Ahem. You ahem? A long time ago, cats were not just worshipped by ancient Egyptians. Cats ruled over them. Men were merely our slaves, building us monuments and pyramids. But one day, thousands of years ago, the men dared to rebel against us. Defeated, we were banished into another dimension through a magic mirror. Uh, could you skip to the end? I never liked educational programs. According to an ancient prophecy, an orange cat and his pet jackal will appear one day. Jackal? Oh, you mean Odie. Is that supposed to be me? The orange cat shall become our new pharaoh, and we will worship him for 2,000 years. You want to worship me and feed me? Who am I to deny my adoring public? You shall have all you wish for, as soon as we're done with the crowning ceremony. Good. Can we get it over with in time for lunch? <laughs> Hey, not so tight. You want to stop my breathing? No, that will come soon enough. Big moment of fame. I, 
Nefertiti, High Priestess of the Goddess Ketra, crown you Pharaoh, my lord. <laughs> I present you with those two symbols of your immortal dominion. <laughs> That's enough grapes to last someone a lifetime. For me, about an hour. In the sarcophagus, an hour will be your lifetime. <laughs> you never mentioned anything about putting me into that over-decorated phone booth. Didn't I? Oh, must have slipped off my mind. See, our previous pharaoh was getting a little, um... Oh. Hey, thanks for inviting me to be Pharaoh, but I just remembered a previous engagement to not have my life in. Oh. Oh. If you need me, uh, I'll be in here. Ouch. Hail to our new Pharaoh! Hail to our new Pharaoh, that we shall worship and adore for the next 2,000 years. The least you could have done was give me the grapes. Thank you. I guess. Be silent. There's no talking in a sarcophagus. Oh, sorry. It's dark in here and I couldn't read the sign. The day of our new pharaoh shall be the day of our new freedom and ascendancy. <laughs> You are rattling the temple with your snoring. Whoops. Guess I didn't tell you I'm a loud sleeper, did I? People in the next state sometimes call and complain about the noise. Didn't you hear what I said? Be silent! Huh? <laughs> that suits you way better. <gasps> Why, you don't! Don't let him get away! Fasten your seatbelt, Nefer Kitty. This is gonna be one bumpy ride. <laughs> this way, Odie. That's our exit, Odie. Quick! <laughs> Pupster, how did you open it? Try to remember. Use your brain. Wow. Oh. So, the prophecy was right. The day we crowned our new pharaoh was indeed the day of our freedom. I shall gather all my troops. We shall cross through the magic gate and wage a war that will enslave mankind and grant us full world domination. <laughs> well, we already have full world domination. What on earth do you mean? <gasps> Modern day cats already rule humans. They feed us, and pet us, and buy us annoying kitty toys, and let us sleep just about anywhere we want to, and all day. Hey, we want to sleep all day. And we did it in such a clever and subtle way that the humans still haven't figured out that they're our slaves. You want to mess with that? And have someone serve us freshly baked lasagna. Wait! If this is true, take me to your world so I can see it for myself. This way, your highness. Uh, but I'd lose the Egyptian suit if I were you, just to uh, keep a low profile. That's it! I 
I'm free! I'm free! John, where did this beautiful cat come from? Never saw her before. Maybe she belongs to one of the neighbors. Oh, I don't see any identification tattoo or collar. <sighs> Unhand me, filthy mortal. <gasps> oh, what a beautiful kitty. Can I hold her? Sure. Can I keep her, Auntie Liz? Can I? Can I? I've always wanted a kitty. Oh, if no neighbor comes looking for her, sure, why not? <laughs> Hi, Priestess. Is that you? No point in letting them go to waste. Just being on the safe side, we wouldn't want any conquests of mankind. Oh, we're going to be such great friends. I'll name you Fuzz Button. <gasps> Fuzz Button! And we'll get you your own sandbox, and maybe a cat of mouse, no. and then I'll spend the No! I must rule the world! Hey, that's how it is sometimes. One day you're the high priestess of the planet, the next day you're Fuzz Button.